Hi everybody, welcome to Art. Oh look what I found. I found him in a box. He's not real, so he's not going to hurt me. But this is Sammy. And Sammy is a snake. He's a friendly snake. And I haven't seen him for, oh, a long, long time. I found him in a box just the other day. And he loves to come to art class. Some of you remember at the beginning of the year, his cousin, Samantha. And Samantha's a little bit big. She's a lot friendlier. She loves color. But Sammy is more flexible. So he can do many, many different things. And so here's Sammy. He, he loves art, don't you, Sammy? Oh, good. Can you say hello to the boys and girls? Hello. Oh, good. He's very friendly. And he loves to make this shape. Does anybody know what this shape is? Yes, it says circle. If I stretch it out just a little bit more and Sammy can stretch, it is an oval. And we're going to be looking at ovals today. Sammy, what else can you do? Oh, he loves to do this. Oh, it's a line that goes up and down. And for those of you that are in first or second grade, it's a vertical line. Well, Sammy, can you stretch it? Oh, he stretched out this way. That is a horizontal line, and sometimes we have a very special line, don't we, Sammy? Oh, yes. And that special line is called a horizon line, where the sky meets the earth. Let's, oh, you want to show him one more line? Oh, it's very important today, isn't it? And that's the line that doesn't stand straight up, that doesn't go straight across, but it goes at an angle. And it's called, I bet you all know what this is called. Yes, I heard you. It's called diagonal. And we're going to be doing a drawing with some diagonal lines today. And we're also going to make, make some curved lines. And we're going to make, I don't, Sammy, I don't think you can do this. Well, no. Nope, Sammy can't. But you can make triangles, and triangles are three-sided. They look kind of like mountains. And so, Sammy, can you say goodbye to all the boys and girls? Goodbye! All right, Sammy, I'm going to put you down, and we're going to be drawing a tiger today. And our tiger has triangles on it that look kind of like stripes. So, and lots of diagonal lines. So let's get started. I have my drawing utensil. You can use a pen, you can use a pencil, you can use a crayon, you can use a colored pencil, probably a black colored pencil. And there it is. So I, I do a sharpie so you all can see the drawing. So I'm going to scoot up a little bit. I'm going to scoot out of the way so you can see my paper. Here is my paper. It's a full sheet of paper today. And I am going to come down to about the middle, right about here. And in that middle, I'm going to draw an oval. Just watch, and then you can draw after me. It's a pretty big oval. There's my oval in the middle of my page. In the middle of the oval, I'm going to draw a straight line for its nose. And now I'm going to make that nose smile. Yeah, it looks like a mouth. I'm going to scoot you up just a little bit more so you can see that. Okay. I'm going to come from the mouth and I'm going to go in and it's going to be one of those diagonal lines. Diagonal that touches the top of that oval. I'm going to come in, I'm going to draw another diagonal. So it looks almost like an upside down ice cream cone. I'm going to come back up here to this line for the nose, the one that went straight across. I'm going to draw a diagonal line down and touch the bottom of my oval. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Down. And it's diagonal. I'm going to, you can make open eyes if you like, but I'm going to make some sleepy eyes here on either side of the nose. So they're like little U's. A little U there, a little U there, 
if you're older, you might want to make big eyes. And then I'm going to make a little U down here for a smile. There we go. And on top, I'm going to make some ears. They look kind of like bear ears, so they're rainbow. I'm going to put a rainbow inside it, so that's a copycat line for those of you that have drawn with me before. I'm going to come over to the other side, and I'm going to make a rainbow about the same size, and another rainbow inside his ear. There we go. And our tiger needs some decorations. So I'm going to come back to his nose, to the side of it, and remember those triangles? They're going to go up and down. And then there's a little space up and down, like you're drawing upside down mountains or like teeth, like dinosaur teeth. I'm going to draw up and down, up and down till we get to that diagonal line. Up and down. We're going to go back to the other side and do the very same thing. I'm going to scoot you up just a little bit so you can see it. So we're going to go up and down. Up and down, 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 up and down. We got to give him some whiskers too. So in this part, I'm going to take it, uh, press and pull, press and pull. And you decide how many whiskers our, our tiger has today. There we go. There's mine. <clears throat> now we're going to draw his body. Just a very simple body. If you're in second or third grade, uh, I mean first or second grade, you can draw this, your body, any way you want. But for younger ones, I'm going to come back to this diagonal line. I'm going to draw a curved line all the way to the bottom of my paper. I'm going to come back and draw a curved line the bottom of my paper. There's his body. Let's put some paws on him. I'm going to come in, I'm going to draw a straight line and curve around and come back. I'm going to do the same on the other side, about the same size. I'm going to come in, straight line, curve around and come back. I'm going to put three little lines for his fingernails, two, three, one, two, three, and you can draw something in here that he's holding if you like, but I'm going to come back and make all those triangles again, starting in his head. I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. When I get to his paw, I'm going to jump right over his paw, go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Up and down. 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 Well, he's missing something as a tiger. We can either draw it here or we can draw it over here. I have more room over here than over here today. And I'm going to draw a tail. I'm going to come up. It's going to be a a curvy line. I'm going to curve around and curve back down and connect it to his body. And then I'm going to do again that pattern of those triangles that look like dinosaur teeth. I probably want to come back up and do the other side in between. There we go. There we go. Now, if you're in the older grades, you might want to put a horizon line, maybe here. Jump over him. Connect. Jump over the tail. Connect. Now he doesn't look like he's floating in the air. And you do something with the sky and something with the ground or wherever he might be. He might be at the circus. He might be at the zoo. 
he might be he might be holding an ice cream cone here, ready to lick and, and eat his ice cream. Boys and girls, you can color it any way you want to color it. Usually, a uh, tiger is has black stripes. These are the, the triangles. And could have a black nose, and this is white. And then the rest is orange. That's traditionally uh, a tiger. But you can, you can color your tiger any way you want. Well, that's drawing with me. Have a great time drawing it, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.